right, so first comment from Lord Ho Ho One coming in hot. What? The internet's a magical place. Isn't I it? love the handles. Yeah. We're gonna have a top ten handle show. And it's like a very regal screenshot. Like his profile picture is like a very regal <laughs> individual. <laughs> Looks like, like a lord of some like land. It's General Andrew hysterical. Luck or Captain Andrew Captain Luck. Andrew Luck is hysterical. Luck. So Lord Ho Ho won, thank you. <laughs> so we were talking on the post game show about how the Bills took a knee, and that's debatable, right? It's a matter of opinion whether you wanted the Bills to take a knee to run out the second half or not. Yeah. So, okay. So um, Lord Ho Ho says with 49 seconds to go and two timeouts, the Bills take a knee, going to halftime. The Chiefs, with 149 seconds and no timeouts, score two touchdowns. How? Subscribe and ride with us on YouTube, and don't forget to check out live play-by-play -play of the Bills season coming up on SportsCaster. You know what's great about this topic? Does it sound familiar? Up here. Mm -hmm. Guys, look up here. I think it's Oh, this. look at that. It's Allen versus Mahomes. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've touched on this. This is about to happen. This is happening. This is happening. You know what? Patrick Mahomes year three is not going to be the same as Patrick Mahomes year two. Let me just make something very, very clear. If you want to compare, because people want to compare them now. This kid sat on the bench the entire year learning from Alex Smith, and his coach is Andy freaking real back and you take a look at what the bills got for Mahomes and it's it's really hard to argue that you take Patrick Mahomes. Well you got White and the resources to get Edmonds and Allen. That's what I mean. Three for one. Yeah. <laughs> Our Bills fans gonna be thirsty for Mahomes. Well after what he just put up, yeah, that's Bills fans are gonna be thirsty for Patrick Mahomes. But again, there's very significant differences in the talent level of the offensive pieces around Mahomes. That starts from the coaching staff. There's important differences to call out between Mahomes and Allen. Differences. Well, major differences, right? They're both freak athletes, right? That's that's just a fact. I thought you were going to say their voice. Well, oh, yeah. There's <laughs> you know, there's some times when I'm in the, in the pocket. And the Bills just don't, they seem to be missing that gear. It doesn't matter who they bring in, they just seem to be missing that gear in the transmission. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating as a Bills fan to have to sit back and watch other teams be successful with players whom you had a shot at that aren't necessarily better than what you had, but they followed a path. With the stats comparable. No, no, the, the offenses are, are night and day. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not, not going to be comparable. Yeah, they're not going to be comparable. But the major difference there is... You had, the same you had the same coordinator for both years. Yep. One of the major differences between Mahomes and Allen, right, is that when things break down with Allen, his eyes are downfield. If Mahomes came here, he would have the same freaking problems that Josh Allen is having right now. To see it. Mahomes is a bit more creative, right? His body control is a lot different. Mahomes plays the position like a shortstop plays. I still champion them taking that chance, right? I still agree that it was the right chance to take by passing on Mahomes, saying we've got other needs that we need to fill. Let's fill those other needs. Because the, the roles were reversed. Does Josh Allen throw 50 touchdowns in that offense? Okay, we should have taken Mahomes. Just realize, Reed is not coming. Hill's not coming. Watkins isn't coming. Uh, Hunt's not coming. Kelsey's not coming. Nope. None of the... Conley... Those six guys are not going to be here with Mahomes, especially that line and recalling the plays. So sh stop it. You too, stop. We, we, Trey White, this defense without Trey White. If he goes down, I'm watching Canadian football right there. <laughs> I, I think it's a fair point that put Mahomes on the Bills last year. I don't think anything's different. Okay, we've touched on this before because mm -hmm. more than Baker, mm -hmm. more than Lamar. Yep. More than Rosen. More than Darno. Allen's going to be compared by Buffalo Bills fans, like mm -hmm. you said, to Mahomes. Yeah. More than any of those guys. Yep. Because that's what you gave up. You got White, Edmonds, and Allen for the price of Mahomes. But you guys can figure that out. Point being. Paul. Sprinkle in that salt there, Mario. Oh, Jeez. my God. All these salt bay action. And you, and you choose to be salty. There you go. Point being is this. Andy Reid and the, uh, the established offense that he has there, and 
in Kansas City and the amount of weapons that they have and they continue to get is far different yeah. than what Josh Allen has in Buffalo. Not to say that there's not talent in Buffalo, but there finally is talent in Buffalo. Right. Andy Reid is a known offensive guy that knows how to get the most out of his players. He took Donovan McNabb to how many NFC Championship games, and Donovan's a great. I think Donovan's a great player, but he had right. a system there that helped him along with that, along with the players that they were able to get. Right. He t- Alex Smith was on fire for a little while. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, so Andy Reid knows how to put an offense together for his quarterback, and then if you give him Patrick Mahomes, who was able to sit a, a, a whole year and learn from Alex Smith, who's probably one of the smartest quarterbacks in the league, or was. Um, in the league, it's just, the the kid was given every chance to succeed, and he has amazing skill set. Mm-hmm. Come over to Allen, okay? He's still learning. Would Reed have gone for it? Obviously, with 149 seconds and 49 seconds, totally different story. But, <clears throat> um, but you know, listen, you're up. 21-7 at the time, 49 seconds left. Only bad things really could happen, if you think about it, with the inexperience that you have at the quarterback yeah. position. Only really bad things could happen. So I don't, I like I said, I didn't mind that. But you think maybe up 21-7 in game 10, they go for it? Yeah. But you made a great point on at the post game about that, was why put your two-minute offense on tape for somebody to scout you? Yeah. Even though it would be great to do that, that's all they ran in camp was two-minute stuff. Mm-hmm. So they already have those set of plays ready to go. Right. Um, albeit they haven't used it yet, but why put it on tape for anybody? Right. Why? But what if you need it later in the game? You know, like those are packages. It's not like mm-hmm. you can just go and run two. Uh, your two-minute offense is just you, everybody runs to the line fast. No, they're, they are set, solid plays. That's it. It's a package. It's not... It's not just everybody runs the line faster. That's it. That's not what it is. Yeah, yeah. They're predetermined plays. They're like, okay, this is the series we're going to run if we're in this situation. If we're in this situation, uh, the, you know, if we're here on the field, these are the packages of plays that we're going to run. If we're here on the field, here's the package of plays we're going to run. It, it's all very, it's all very premeditated. If, <laughs> if Lord Hoho is talking about, yeah, I'd like that experience for Dable. Instead of Allen, that'd be great. Yeah, right. Call some two-minute plays for me. Let me see how you do. But you gotta wait till week six to make fun of him. Like I can't talk right about Dable. I promised everybody in hashtag nation that I was gonna keep my mouth shut about Brian Dable. The craziest part is we've seen because we it's one like you've seen the movie before, and this one the movie didn't come out yet. The Bills are the movie that didn't come out yet. Yeah. The Chiefs are the movie you've seen before. Right. Fifty touchdowns, five thousand yards. They can be explosive at any moment. Okay. Minute, minute, uh, 149 seconds left, 39 seconds left, 20 seconds left. Plus, he already has 16 games under his belt with Reed last year. So they already have an established two-minute warning. Right. So you don't have that with Allen. I understand the flip side of the argument is, well, get Allen as much work as, as you can. And that's great. I understand that. But you're playing New England in two weeks. You may need a two-minute warning. I don't want to give Belichick anything. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at, do you think you're going to run a two-minute offense against the Bengals? I mean, hope is not. If you're seeing what uh, what's happened the last couple of weeks, no, again, they, they played week one really really tough. They played week two not so tough. Right? What Bengals team are you going to get? But uh, the less you can put on film, the better. If you can walk through the Bengals game without tipping your hand too much, that's the ideal situation. Absolutely. You know, no that's ideal because the less film you can give Belichick, the better, <laughs> truthfully. But to compare and Mahomes and Allen, Reed is one of the best offensive-minded coaches of this generation. He yes. is. Yes. He is. It, it's just not the same, right? It's it's just not the same conversation. Is Brian Dable one of the best offensive minds that we've seen of this generation? No. Like, I'm not talking bad about him. The answer is no. no. He's not. His script is not written yet. For those of you that think I just bag on him all the time, it's, it's not written yet. He, he was in New England. Coached the tight ends in New England. Then he was an OC. Then went to Alabama. And then came here. I know he's. Made he was an OC in multiple places. Yeah, but the point is, yeah, he was an OC in a bunch of different places. But the fact that he was a tight end coach and doesn't utilize his tight ends yeah. as much as people want. Well, that's another this story for another day. But the point is this: to try to compare Allen to Mahomes still is un, is an unfair comparison due to the guy's 
calling the plays. Now, do they have a similar skill set? Well, you could say that the Bills made out then. If you think Allen's skill set is comparable to Mahomes, and they were able to still get Trey White and Tremaine Edmonds mm-hmm. for Mahomes, right? You, you got to think the Bills won on that deal because mm-hmm. I could tell you right now with I'll, I'll bet my entire savings, which still only <laughs> doesn't have a comma in it yet. <laughs> Point being is this. Mahomes coming here and playing on the 2018 Bills, mm-hmm. he would have had a similar road as Josh Allen. He wouldn't have thrown 50. Yeah. He wouldn't have thrown 4,000 yards. Right. I agree with that. So, um, while I love the comment, I just think it's a little bit of an unfair comparison. I just, I, that's just me. I just mm-hmm. think it's unfair. But I love the comment. Keep them coming. Lord, ho, oh. <laughs> ho. Way to come in hot. <laughs> First comment, he's like, here we go. He got me burning. And also, guys, check this out. Right here. Allen versus Mahomes. You want to see me get really mad? It's right here. You do get mad there. I do get... Stop it. You get saucy. Stop it! Why are you yelling at me now? I didn't do anything. Again!